Hello everybody and welcome back to Thickbot channel and in today's video I have a custom to show you guys sorry about the background noise and also make sure to stick around to the end for a very important update on the uh, Stickbot show morning edition now <clears throat> starting off let me move something sorry <laughs> starting off with the figure as I always do I'm gonna start with the head now if you don't know I used Aquafang as a base for this figure which is something I knew I wanted to do when the stick by monsters came out because I really like Undertale <coughs> so I realized that I couldn't have that fin because Undyne doesn't really have a fin so I pretty much took a Dremel and uh, just kind of went zoom, like a buzz cut just went zoom, and got rid of it and you can still see the indent of where it was on the head uh, but it was also my first time ever using a Dremel so I could have done a better job but I was kind of able to clean it up there was a lot of damage back here, but it got covered up by the hair. Now, moving on to the face. Uh, I realized she had this kind of thing. I don't know if these are eyebrows or like eyeshadow, but they sure do exist. And I put them on there, but they made them look like really big eyebrows. So then I painted over the eyes so they would cover them up, and I think that looks so much better. Now, uh, Undyne is missing an eye. So she has her eye patch going around and under the hair, coming out again. And then for this one, I if you do look at like really old pictures of her that I have up on Instagram, you will see that she was originally going to have a pupil, kind of like Sans. But I decided that I would cover it up with yellow, and I think that looks so much better and a lot more like a stick butt. Now moving on to the fins. I translated her design from like I think a sprite model I, I saw one I saw a couple from the game that had like four but I went with three because I think that looked better and I, I took a lot of creative liberties with this figure so I, I, I painted uh, three lines on the fins those three lines go around and onto every side of the fins and the same as for this side now moving down from the head Oh, wait, no, I forgot the hair. Now, the hair is just this. I'm really bad at sculpting hair, but it's meant to look like a uh, like a ponytail kind of thing. I wanted it to come up over the head, but it just barely does. Uh, but still, eh, it's on there. And I think you can tell that it's Undyne, which is a pretty good thing when you're making a figure of someone. Now, moving down to her torso. She has, like, this sort of tank top deal. Now, this figure is pretty old, except for the head. I just did that recently. Uh, but here's a tank top. Now, I sort of sanded in the scales a little bit. Uh, but, like, when I sanded them down and painted them, I didn't, again, like, I didn't have access to a Dremel. I, I know I Dremeled this part off, but I had already done, like, the bottom part before the top part. So, because back in, like... This was last year, yeah. Like, last year I was too lazy to actually go back and redo this part. Now, I do own my own Dremel now. Uh, keep that in mind. I want to up the quality of my figures. So, nowadays I definitely would have gone and just shaved off the scales. Now, I might go back and do that. But back then, I, I was too lazy and I left the scales there. And it looks really weird. But it still, it still it sure does exist. Now, the, the TikTok goes all the way around uh, and uh, to the back and I don't normally make the paint detail uh, go over a, a figure's neck like this whole this top this uh, this top area right here I don't normally paint there but she gets an exception and I probably should have oh, I probably should have left a little hole around the arms not because of the paint scraping, but just be solely because, I mean, it's a tank top, so it would have made a lot more sense. I'm assuming it is. And moving down to our legs, and now, of course, again, this was a, this the the whole torso was made a while ago. The only thing I did was touch up the boots a bit, which still needs some work. But normally, what I would have done is I would have had the boots start underneath this part to show where the knees are, because the boots are obviously underneath the knees. <laughs> And the pants would still have come down. But I'm stupid back then. That was stupid back then. And the boots came up to her knees. Even though they clearly don't. 
So that was a mistake on my part, again. Uh, but then you go around, yeah, very simple design. And then moving down to the actual boots. They seem to be sort of folded. I don't understand how it works. Uh, but there is like a, a ring of yellow that I saw. I don't know. Oh, there's some blue in my hand, sorry. So I did interpret that. So underneath this layer of red is a layer of yellow on top of this la layer of red. Yeah, you guys can tell where the actual effort went into. Definitely the head, because this was way more recent. And the torso is a year old. If you know when I got this figure, it was in that goodie bag that I got a year ago. <laughs> so, sorry. But that's pretty much undyne. Now, I was originally going to wait for this custom. So I was going to make a spear for her, which I still will make. Or I'll get a stickbot sphere and spear and just paint it. You know, but since it's Halloween and spooky season, I decided since she's a monster from the underground, she might as well get a video during Halloween. Uh, but here's like a, a sneak preview. You probably saw him in my stickbot monsters video. Uh, of this guy. Yeah, you'll get a video too. Along with Zombie Pigman. Working on him. He'll get a video next month. But I am entering him in the contest. And now on... For all you guys that came for the custom, you can leave. But I have some information about the Stickbot Morning Edition. Stickbot Show Morning Edition. Now on the video, where I pretty much screamed for 7 minutes about how bad the Stickbot Show Morning Edition was. I used hashtag Stickbot, of course, because I wanted to get out there. And... Uh, yeah, Stickbot watched it. Um, it makes sense that he didn't respond to any of the points I made about, like, the studio and stuff like that to keep things anonymous, probably. And I don't blame them for that at all, because that's definitely a complicated to topic with someone who is so involved in their community. Uh, but <laughs> I expected them to kind of hate me after that video, and because so many other people did almost the same thing, like, they didn't, they weren't as mad as me, but they still did it. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they realized, they, I think they realized, they actually learned from their mistake, and what the deal is, from what they, from what they said, and I, I don't mean, like, specifically to me, I'm pretty, I saw this on Instagram, the Stickpot Show Morning Edition has three pre-made episodes, and after that, we'll be getting changes, so for the next two episodes, I probably won't be making videos on how bad they are, because they said they aren't making changes until after that, because they're pre-made, of course. Uh, but from what I understand, they they talk to a bunch of other people in, like, in their comment section about how they appreciate our feedback, and they will change it, which is really cool. Let's go, guys. We did it. We're getting a change, and I'm super excited. You guys have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Ah, man. They had, like, the majority of the criticisms I've heard from other people are bring back the original crew. Stop with the corny and horrible jokes. Fix the bot point oh, uh, and I, I can't remember another one, but there, there there are at least four that I hear like a lot. Um, and I and I did definitely overreact in my video. I had just woken up to watch that. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking, and I apologized. But they 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 said it was fine and that they they're gonna fix everything up. Just shout out to Stickbot Central, man. Uh, I'm so glad you guys are redeeming yourselves, in, in at least in our eyes. I don't know about anyone else, but I am definitely looking forward to the return of the Stickbot Show. Because, from what I understand, it should be going back to the old formula. Hopefully, hopefully, crossing my fingers. Because that's all the f fans want. They just want it to be what it used to be. Uh, oh yeah, and bring back interviews. That was the other criticism I had. Everyone wanted them to bring back the interviews. Anyway, keep on rocking my gifts and sandwiches. I hope you enjoyed this Undyne custom I worked really hard on. Well, I worked really hard on the head. And follow me on Instagram for my updates on the Stickbot Monsters and the Stickbot Show Morning Edition. Peace out.